What's up, y'all? This is Challenger. I'm here to help y'all play deep in some Man 25. Now, I know for a fact that Man 25 could be a tough game to play deep in some, especially this year. But, I mean, there are ways around it. You know, generally you want to have a base defense. A base defense is what you can run throughout primarily almost about 75% of the game. Unless it's an obvious, um, you know, passing situation. Like 3rd and 15, 3rd and 10, 3rd and 12. You get the point on 4th down. Since people like to go for it like bums. But, you know, I guess you can't help that. It's the nature of the game. But um, a good base defense you can run where you can set up nanos, play maximum coverage. It's pretty decent against the run. It's 4-3 over plus. I like to run Mike Sam 3. Or Sam too, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to pick a base uh, pass play. Oh lord, I'm trying to get my camera straight. Sorry about this y'all. Bear with me. But, you know, to set up a blitz, effective nano from this uh, formation, all you got to do is just crash your D-line to the left and zone your middle linebacker. I have to put him in the purple so it could cover the sideline. And do press coverage. Now, doing press coverage, you know, will give you a two-man under look. You know, it will kind of like discourage your opponent from throwing to the sideline. And another thing about having the base defense, you want everything to look the same. Now, having everything look the same means everything. Because that way, your opponent won't know if you're blitzing, playing maximum coverage. And, you know, you, you just can totally confuse your opponent. But anyway, crashing the D-line to the left will make a nice little edge heat. And you should get your outside linebacker and come screaming up the edge. I'll show you. Oh, Lord. Of course they mess up on practice. I'll do it again. Crash your D-line left. And that's all you should do. Boom. Outside heat. Now... Like I said, bring your corners and play press coverage. Um, what else? Uh, if you're trying to play max coverage from this formation, what you could do is, is you could audible the two man under. And of course, you could, you know, put one of your defensive tackles in the spies and drop both of your defensive ends, you, you know, in hook zones. Or if you want to play maximum um, coverage, you could audible. I'm going to reset the play. You know, just put him in the purple. Him in the spy. Flat zone. Flat zone. You know, to give that max coverage look. <clears throat> it doesn't really matter what you do with him. Just whatever. Whatever comes to mind. See that nice block shit? The defense and hat. Now, it's very important to always try to keep your defense in or somebody on the outside if you're trying to play maximum coverage deep because it's much easier for them to get a block shit to get a sack, just like you would just saw. Uh, my concept of stopping the run is pretty simple. What I generally like to do is, you know, I like to put my safety in the spy. Putting your uh, safety in the spy makes them come down to stop the run. You know, much more effective than him if he don't. And watch this. I'm going to run the ball without, you know, changing anything. Watch how many yards I get. I roughly got about six yards right there. Now, if I put my safety down in the QB spy, my free and my strong, they'll come flying down to the line of scrimmage and they'll basically play the ball a lot more better and effective. And this will take that six yard gain to maybe a two three yard gain, which is very, very effective. And sometimes you'll get a loss if your opponent try to bounce. I'll show you. I change it to a run play. I do it one more time. That wasn't a good example. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 
See how the safety came down and played that? Like I said, when playing defense, you want everything to look the same. You want to be able to set your blitz up, like what I showed you first, be able to play mass coverage defense, and be able to play run defense. Now, you could do all kinds of stuff from this. This formation is pretty decent against blitzing, pretty decent, you know, to stop the pass. You know, it's a pretty pretty much bounce formation. You could do a lot of stuff from it. It's kind of hard for you to really, really get beat and just adjust to your opponent tendencies. Now, it's crucial to have a formation where you can blitz from, you can play mass coverage from, and you can stop the run from. You cannot stop the run from Cordis defense. You cannot um, stop. You cannot really shut down nobody with the pass with a bunch of linebackers like you have on the field right now. But you know, with in this type of zone coverage, you could definitely do kind of. You know, you could definitely cut down his reads. And shading got a lot to do with a lot of stuff too. But I get into that in another video. But yeah, that's all you really gotta do to improve your defense. Make everything look the same. And here's a little bonus. I'm going to show you how to run a dual edge from the same formation. Uh, uh. Now what you do is um, you spread your D-line, crash them left, um, shift your linebacker, your outside linebacker to the left, um, re-blitz him and zone the middle linebacker. This should create dual edge heat. You see that? I right, do it again. Spread your D-line. Crash him left. Rezone this linebacker. Do whatever you want with him. Shift your linebackers. I mean, my bad. I'm sorry. Spread your linebackers. Uh, spread your linebackers. Reblitz his outside linebacker, Alden Smith, and you should get the legit. Sometimes I like to blitz this guy down right here to speed up the process because sometimes he may get in the linebacker way. But yep, that's about it, yeah.